Hello everyone, my name is Jamie Thompson, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to show you um, a short demo of Kanchango's SQL Server Monitor Gadget for Windows Vista Sidebar. You can see I've got quite a few gadgets on my screen at the moment already. I click the plus sign on the sidebar. I'm going to add another one. There's one here called SQL Monitoring. I select it, we can show details. As you can see, this is SQL Monitoring 1.0. It's version 1.0 of it, but it provides continuous monitoring of SQL Server databases. I'm going to drag that onto my sidebar. And you can see that it says configuration has not been set, which is true. So if I open the settings flyout, I'm going to point to my local server, which is just a dot. The database, I'll start with tempdb. And the poll interval I'll set to 0.5 seconds. This is how often the gadget actually polls the server for the metrics that it's going to display. Normally I wouldn't set it to something as small as 0.5, it would be something a lot larger than that, but for demo purposes I'm going to set it to 0.5 and you'll see why in a second. I'll hit OK on that. OK, and now you can see some metrics for tempdb. Uh, we can see that this data file size is 8 megabytes and the amount size of that that is actually used is 1.4 and that represents 18% of the total size and we get similar metrics for the log file as well and you can see that some of those metrics are changing um, as we pull the database every 0.5 seconds so I'm going to continue the demo by bringing up SQL Server Management Studio I've got a little script here which um, creates a database called TMP. I think I've actually already created it. I'll check I'm using it. Yes, it's already there. And I'm going to point my gadget at that database. So I'm typing TMP. That's the name of the database. Hit OK on that. And OK, there we can get to go. You can see we've got some metrics for TMP database. OK, I have a table in there called, I'm going to create a table called T1. I, th I think I might have already created it. No, it's not there, so I'll create it now. Create table T1. And it's just got some dummy t uh, fields in it, which I'm going to fill with some data using this script down here. What the script does is insert some nonsensical values in there and that happens within a loop which, um, which loops around a hundred times so if I hit execute on this we're now inserting data into that table and if we look over at the gadget you'll see that the data there the metrics is at, are actually changing in real time as we're inserting data you can see the percentage of the data file used is going up and log file usage is changing as well OK, that's going to loop around a um, hundred times and it takes, um, I've got a one second delay on there each time. So I'm not going to let you sit here and watch that for the next hundred seconds. I think you can get the idea of what's going on. So I hope that proves useful and I hope you get some use out of our SQL Monitor gadget. Uh, thanks for listening.